Hey guys, so I'm back with another candle review, and this time around for the 14.5 ounce three wick number 42 limited edition candle from Bath and Body Works, part of the mystery drop candles that are supposed to come out somewhere in the March 7th and 8th time frame. The notes on this read sweet cream, fresh cinnamon, and vintage leather. And yeah, uh, totally ambivalent about this candle, neither here nor there. It's like, I guess I'm happy that it's new, unique, and different, uh, and it's not just some kind of like boring repackage or like a generic fragrance if you've smelled a million times before. But even with that, like totally one and done, take it or leave it. Like if I never smelled this before, like again, I, I'd be totally fine with that. Uh, but yeah, so what does it smell like? I feel like this leans more so in that sort of classic old fashioned like men's barbershop shaving cream category. And so even though the first two notes say sweet cream and fresh cinnamon, uh, make no mistake, it still leans more in that sort of masculine shaving cream, old spice type of vibe rather than something fully blown gourmand. So don't think of it as like some cinnamon Irish cream type of fragrance. There's still heaps of like a mess masculine component to it uh, that doesn't make it fully gourmand. I think they probably put the notes of sweet cream and fresh cinnamon first to try to make it seem more uh, mass appeal. And so you kind of more focus more on those notes first because that's what you read first. Uh, but when it's all said and done, I feel like it's still more like this masculine type of candle uh, that just happens to put a little bit more emphasis on like a uh, sweet and spicy component to it, more so than what a traditional, I guess, men's cologne type of fragrance would give you. Uh, so yeah, what you get is think of your shaving cream, barbershop fragrances, think of Old Spice, Old Spice usually has tons of like a spiciness to it. Usually has like anise, nutmeg, uh, clove, and cinnamon. So think of those type of spicy fragrances mixed with that sort of creaminess of the shaving cream. You get all of that in here. But then what they do is they just kind of like dial up that cinnamon quite a bit where you get this really spicy like red hot cinnamon fragrance mixed with like this sort of sweet creaminess. So it's like a sweet, spicy, uh, and just a little bit more emphasis on that, I guess, sweetness uh, versus a traditional type of, I guess, cologne fragrance fragrance. So there's still emphasis on that sort of creamy cinnamon action in there, but then it's mixed with the usual components you get from like an old fashioned sort of like shaving cream, old spice type of fragrances in there. Uh, kind of gives you those like art deco lounge speakeasy vibes that like midnight cocktails might give you or like the scotch lounge fragrance. But once again, much sweeter than both of those because that addition of the cinnamon and the cream in there. Uh, but I was thinking that this was a little bit more closer to midnight cocktails on cold. But when I go to burn it, this is actually more similar to the uh, Moonlit Graveyard candle, uh, which I was like, wasn't I, when I, right after I finished my initial haul of this video, I was like, wasn't I describing something as a shaving cream fragrance before? And I went straight to my collection. I was like, oh my God, Moonlit Graveyard, that's what it was. But I was too lazy to like refilm the haul video to include that reference in there. Uh, so instead I was like, you know what? I'll just use that as a reference in my candle review video. And so it does have some similarities to that Moonlit Graveyard candle, which has that sort of similar, like almost shaving cream, old spice, old fashioned men's fragrance to it. But then like take the Moonlit Graveyard candle and add a, once again, a sweeter, spicy, sweet cinnamon cream type of fragrance in there. Uh, but yeah, I, I, I don't know. It, it, it's, it's like... It's here. Uh, I feel like this is definitely more of like a sort of uh, fall type of fragrance. It's like a so cozy element because the cinnamon is so strong in there. And that sort of like vintage leather gives you those like atmospheric atmospheric vibes in there as well. Uh, but yeah, um, I don't know if you like these type of like Old Spice shaving cream uh, barbershop type of fragrances, but want something that has a little bit of a twist with the addition of that sort of cream and cinnamon in there, check it out. But otherwise, total one and done for me. So yeah, that's pretty much it. And let me go into the performance. This is a third burn. It has a thick rope like wicks on it and we're doing fine. Usual hot burn on it. So just make sure you're always trimming it. I don't think this sets quite as much as the number 33 one does. Uh, so yeah, as for the throw, this one's quite potent and strong, much stronger than the number 33 in my opinion. Um, I put this in like both a living room and a bedroom area and like a good solid eight for sure. Uh, yeah, I have no problem smelling it very much in like the strong throw category. So we're good to go there. So if you want to smell it, at least this one's pretty potent. Overall, one and done. It's just, it's a little bit weird because I feel like we missed the season on burning this. This just seems more like a fall candle, kind of like how Midnight Cocktails had that sort of like uh, moody uh, vibe to it. But like we're going into spring where we're looking for more like floral light fragrances. And this one's a little bit more heavier. Uh, so not quite what I want to burn right now. But if you like those type of fragrances, check this out. I think I still prefer Midnight Cocktails a little bit more than this because it has like this almost like a sultry quality to it with maybe even a little bit of like a feminine touch to it, whereas this one's a little bit more of that sort of like shaving cream vibe to it. Uh, but yeah, I, I, I don't know. It's here. That's pretty much it. Thanks for watching and I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.